There's 13 crystal skulls that need to all be brought together at the end of the Mayan calendar, which is 2012, if we're to avert some You said you did actually experience some weird things, mm. didn't you? You know, I did. I mean, I was quite sort of sceptical initially, and um, Bill kept making me hold my hands over it. I think we've got some footage of that, uh, because apparently people do feel a tingling in their hands, but I didn't really feel anything the first two times. Anything. But then I held them up, and just as I was over the sort of the top curvature of the skull, mm. There was real heat coming from it. It looks scary, they are Natasha. They're scary-looking sharks, aren't Could they? Could they have done you any harm? Well, because they don't really eat humans, they don't see us as prey, so they're not likely to come and attack us. But their skin's quite interesting. It's made up of tiny little tooth-like scales called dermal denticles. And the scales all go one way. So if you were to stroke one of those sharks from the head down to its tail, it'd be really smooth. But if you did it the other way, it would rip your hand to shreds <gasps> because it's really like wow. sandpaper. So that's really why you don't want to get too close to them. It is really wet. Hold it, hold it. <laughs> this is great fun. <laughs> Those of us wearing the blue bibs, we went down easy time. Did you hear that? Clearly British military fitness isn't going to appeal to everybody, but it's cheaper than a gym, it's environmentally friendly, and it's meant to be fun. Have I had fun today? You know what, actually I have. And that is just weird. Well, here in the studio. I took a change of clothes with me because I thought that would be appropriate yeah. since it was damp. I didn't take a change of underwear. And that was a mistake <laughs> because I got so right oh, through no. to the bone. But I actually spent the whole hour just laughing. I mean, I go to the gym a couple of times a week. I never laugh at the gym. I'm normally crying. Uh, so here, actually, you are motivated. You're mm. having a laugh and you... You know, you put in a full hour of hard exercise. So in a nutshell then, Alan, how do you tell an edible mushroom from a poisonous one? Get to know the well-known edible species. This is edible. Really? Potentially. Potentially? As are many of the... Potentially. Stiff stems, and you'll get these breaking down all the leaf litter throughout the forest. And is it edible? Not necessary. <laughs> Not necessary. <laughs> Back that one goes then. <laughs> Whoa, ho, ho, hey! Gastronome time, look at this. Now these are like bright orange. Cantharella. See, I would never think that one is safe to eat. That, that to me, that says poison, poison. Before long, the waters are heaving once again. What you're looking at there is the dorsal fin and the tail of a basking shark. In fact, there are two basking sharks swimming around the boat right now, which is really exciting. Now, basking sharks can grow up to 10 metres in length, which is pretty big, so hopefully we'll be able to work out how big this one is. It looks pretty big to me. The sightings are coming thick and fast, and then something really special. Oh, my goodness! A pod of common dolphins decides to ride our bow wave. Oh, oh my goodness me! Including two calves just weeks old. Get your heart out, Kate 